Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Tuesday, March 30th. I hope you're doing well. Quick update today because there's momentum for a fourth stimulus check. This is a letter signed by 21 Senate Democrats to the president today to push for this. The reason this came out today is because tomorrow, President Biden announces his Build Back Better plan. That's another multi-trillion dollar spending plan. Yes, we're still talking about trillions of dollars. So I'm going to get into that plan. The stimulus checks, which would be recurring stimulus checks, that's what's being asked for in this letter, and talk about what the likelihood of this passing is. A quick update on S4227 and targeted EIDL grants. Yesterday's video, I talked a lot about the progress being made. There's been some positive movement. I'm going to talk about that. Some other important economic news on home prices and treasury yields. Again, tomorrow is Biden's big spending announcement. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and liking this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on alerts if you're new to this channel. We've been doing near daily videos for over a year and for sure, everything stimulus related and small business funding related, we will cover for you here. By the way, watch until the end. We picked a $500 grant winner. We will give out two more grants this week. That's at the end of this quick video. Here are some of the headlines. This from CNBC, 21 Senate Democrats urge Biden to put recurring stimulus checks, unemployment aid extension in the recovery plan. Again, this is the plan that Biden is gonna unveil tomorrow in Pittsburgh. This was a big jump before there were only 11 Senate Democrats supporting this. Now there are 21, led by Finance Committee Chair Ron Wyden of Oregon. In a letter, which I'm gonna pull up in a minute, says, this crisis is far from over and families deserve certainty that they can put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. Families should not be at the mercy of constantly shifting legislative timelines and ad hoc solutions. Meanwhile, in this piece from Yahoo Finance, they say that 60 legislators in total, it's two groups here that are supporting this letter, but 60 legislators support a fourth stimulus check. There are also 53 representatives led by Minnesota Democrat Ilhan Omar. So bottom line, there is new support both in the Senate and the House for recurring payments. Would love to hear if you are for or against this, and probably I will run a poll tomorrow to gauge this in a bit more detail, but you can leave a comment today. Do you support more spending, especially recurring stimulus payments? Here's the letter that was written. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can read it here, and I'll just highlight a couple things. Dear President Biden, we appreciate your strong support for direct payments and enhanced unemployment insurance for the millions of families affected by this public health and economic crisis. We urge you to include recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions tied to economic conditions in your Build Back Better long-term economic plan. This is the plan he will announce tomorrow. The quote I already read that the crisis is far from over and some of the reasons. First, the letter says these two forms of payments are effective together. Unemployment insurance has replaced lost income for millions who have lost their jobs, but millions of others do not qualify for unemployment insurance after seeing their hours reduced, switching to lower paying jobs, or temporarily leaving the workforce to care for family members during the pandemic. Direct payments are crucial for supporting struggling families who aren't reached by unemployment insurance. An Urban Institute study suggests that a single direct payment of 1,200 combined with an extension of enhanced unemployment insurance and other assistance could keep 12 million people out of poverty and adding a second direct payment could keep an additional 6.3 million people above the poverty line. They go into talking about the data and that the data shows direct payments are the most effective forms of relief available. It increases spending and supports jobs one of the quotes here is families shouldn't have to worry about whether they'll have enough money to pay for essentials in the months ahead as the country continues to fight a global pandemic. Almost six in 10 people say the $1,400 payments set to be included in the rescue package will last them less than three months. Third, recurring direct payments have wide support from both the general public and economic experts. Polling shows 65% of Americans support recurring cash payments, quote, for the duration of the pandemic. That's 54% of Republicans and 60% of independents. So that's the letter. You can see who it's signed by, of course, many senators on the left. We've got Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and you can see the others as well. Well, of course, I'm gonna remain cautiously optimistic because there's already been three stimulus checks. The US has already printed $5 trillion. Of course, there's talk of another few trillion dollars. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think about this. So here's what's happening tomorrow. Biden's going to announce his Build Back Better plan, a multi-trillion dollar proposal, less than a month after the $1.9 trillion stimulus. 
seeks to give Washington a new commercial role in matters ranging from charging stations for electric vehicles to child care and more responsibility for underwriting education, incomes, and higher paying jobs. The administration's sweeping plans reflect a calculation that, quote, the risk of doing too little outweighs the risk of doing too much. We are going to be unapologetic about that. Government must be a powerful force for good in the lives of Americans. This is a quote from White House National Economic Council Director Brian Deese. Biden is comparing this, of course, to the New Deal, which built a lot of our country's infrastructure and Lyndon B. Johnson's Great Society program. You know, there hasn't been major infrastructure spending since those big programs. So we've known this. It's worth reiterating the White House position and many Democrats' position is to do more. The risk of doing too little outweigh the risk of doing too much. Many of you in the comments have remarked that we're spending too much. Then where do you fall? I'd love to hear. I'll run a poll tomorrow. By the way, I'm going to share who we picked for the $500 grants winner in a second. But we are doing $500 grants every single week. But first, let me talk about the targeted EIDL grants and S4227. This is the saga of the bill we've been covering since last summer. There was no new movement on it. However, some rumors on Twitter that they will try to get this included into a Build Back Better plan, some new legislation. Why? Well, because the legislation still excludes many of you. Many of you rightly so frustrated on this channel because you don't fall in the low income area. That was spelled out both in the December package and last month's package as well. This bill would eliminate that. It's a 10,000 EIDL. Forget the targeted nonsense. It would be for people who need it. They'd look at revenue, they'd look at your eligibility, and they'd say, great, here you go. The claim has always been from these lawmakers, and it's co-sponsored by eight folks, eight senators now. The claim has always been that the intent of the CARES Act was to give out $10,000 in emergency funding. Well, most of you are still waiting, but there is some positive progress. 92% of you are still waiting for an approval or an invite that's down from 98% last week. 5% say you've been approved. 3% say you've been approved and the money is now on your bank account. 8% success rate. Like I said yesterday, I would love to see that get to 15% or 20% this week. We're keeping an eye on this and the progress. I know so many of you are being incredibly patient as usual, three months in, still waiting for this. But with the mantra to spend more, I am optimistic that there will be more funding available. Speaking of more funding available, for our Skip Plus users, we announced a new $10,000 grant program it's for businesses with less than 50 employees. If you have less than 50 employees, you may want to check it out. We curate grant opportunities, funding opportunities twice per week. You can start a free 15-day trial. The link right at the top of the description or when you're on the app, just click the See Grant Opportunities to start your free trial. Even if you don't see grants that are relevant for you right away, stick with it. We promise you we will help you not miss out on important funding and information. The name of the game here is making sure you know what's available for you and when, and if you need to take action. We'll always keep you posted there. Home prices are rising at the fastest pace in 15 years. I mentioned yesterday on our blog, we did the flip side of that, which places in the US are becoming more affordable. So if you wanna see, gosh, like all the hot markets are becoming too much, what's becoming more affordable? Feel free to check that article out by Casey on our team. And because cases are up almost 20% over the past two weeks, Biden gave a warning yesterday, the CDC gave a warning yesterday, don't get too lax. You know, the light is at the end of the tunnel. It was just spring break. Still, public health experts are urging folks to remain cautious because still a very high infection count. All right, here we go. We are at hello.skip on Instagram. We announced our first winner this morning, Jose M, who's in Rhode Island, our first $500 grant winner. We're going to pick one tomorrow and pick one on Friday three next week, three the following week, etc., etc. All you have to do to be eligible, it's very easy. Of course, be a subscriber, use our free app. If you wanna do an Instagram post tagging us, you can. It just has to be a feel good story. Alternatively, you can also start a free Skip Plus trial. All Skip Plus members are entered every week and you can do that right on our app or a link in the description, helloskip.com slash membership. So a couple options for you. All of our YouTube revenue continues to go back to folks supporting our channel. So thank you so much. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.